it's Megan. And it's Ellie. Uh, I am back from the vacation that we that I took. And on the vacation, I brought back new little critters for the homestead. Uh, Ellie, what did I bring back? Uh, she brought back some hermit crabs. Yeah, so I brought back two hermit crabs for the kids. Um, and in during research and things, uh, we want to raise these hermit crabs the correct way and raise them better. Um, so Dylan's sister has had hermit crabs before, and so she's given us, I don't know what it is, a big old glass tank. I'll have to show it, show you what it looks like here in a little bit. Um, and so we went to the pet store and got some things that hermit crabs need versus um, the things that kind of come when you buy a hermit crab at like a tourist shop. Um, and after doing some research, that's kind of not the best way to um, have hermit crabs. So, can you pull out what we got? So, we got these to managers. So, hermit crabs live, hold on just a second. Her hermit crabs live in a warmer environment. Um, so, they need a higher humidity and a higher temperature. So, I picked up these little gauges. Um, and then my thought is, hold on just a second. Since we're gardeners, we have large plant mats and I'm gonna stick one of my heating plant seed tray mats um, underneath the whole cage since they get about, you know, 70 degrees and uh, see how that works with keeping them warm versus going ahead and buying like a heat mat for the tank. Um, and then we went ahead and we picked up a lizard lounge that uh, we're gonna stick to the side and kind of give them a second level. And then we got some Eco Earth. Um, so this stuff is really neat. You just mix it in with water and you'll, I'll show it later on in the video. Um, and it just kind of grows and gets big. So like you leave it in water for 30 minutes and then we are gonna mix this with some play sand. Um, that way it has a good, I don't think they call it sub, sub strain or sub, what is it? Substrate, there you go. Um, so it's better than like the colored gravel. Do you guys want to introduce your crabs? Yeah. So this is Ellie's hermit crab. Here it is. Here, set it on my hand. There. Flip, it, flip him the other way. So this is Ellie's hermit crab. Um, and I picked, picked him out because he had a flower on his shell. And then kind of after doing research and things, uh, the paint that they use for the colored shells is not um, healthy for the crabs. I was say, I thought he was gonna come out. Nope, all right, can you put him back? Yep. Put it and then back. Easton's crab, he named Orange. Um, and he just kind of lives in this little log and he has a little octopus painted on him um, But there's a hole on either side of this log and so sometimes they'll each just crawl in here and hang out Yeah, um, and then they attach themselves But hermit crabs are really neat because you can pretty much make all of their food um, And they eat really healthy um, So I will leave a link down in the description of things that hermit crabs eat. Uh, we'll do other videos on that um, and kind of show what we are planning on feeding our hermit crabs versus like just the processed yeah. type foods. So this is a five quart bucket that we just dropped the brick of Eco Earth in. Um, Eco Earth is just compressed coconut fiber um, that once you mix with water, it expands. Um, hopefully this bucket will be big enough. I don't know, we'll have to see. But we're just gonna let this sit for 20 to 30 minutes and then come back and mix it with our play sand. Alrighty, so our Eco Earth has been uh, sitting in this bucket probably 25 minutes um, with the mixed with the water. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna drop it into this uh, big fish tank. You guys ready? Yeah. Fun kid project. <laughs> so I'm just gonna drop it in here. Yeah. Can you throw some in here too? They have water. Water. Alright, how about everybody do one more handful? Ellie, one more handful? Yep. Okay, all done for a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Can I go watch 
pick me ants. They just, if you're out of anything. I'm not so out of Okay, do one more handful, Ellie. Yeah. Hey. Easton, come here. All right, okay, now can we all get in here and mix it up? Okay. you get in there and mix it in? Yeah. Just like that. Get your hands in there, mix it all up. Yeah. But me. But me do it. You getting it? So this little jar used to be like a cheese dip. Um, and the thought is we are just gonna bury this and kind of make a little cave in this back corner. Can we dig out a spot? Yep. Put it. Put it. Okay. Now can we cover it all up? Okay. Well, they can't see anything. Mm -hmm. They can see right over the so when you are done mixing your eco sand or eco earth and your sand all mixed together, you want it to kind of be like a sand castle type consistency, um, but you don't want it to be too wet, but it, it will help with the, the humidity um, and helping them. And then you also want it to be kind of deep. That way, if your crabs want to bury themselves, they can. We have our little cave here so that they have kind of a place to go and they have this fun little hammock that they can crawl up and kind of explore. Um, and then they have two dishes here, one for salt water and one for fresh water. Um, I have ordered the salt already for that. And then this little seashell here will serve as um, like a food, food bowl. Um, and then these little smaller shells are more decorative, but there are some different shells that they can um, grow into in size. Um, and they are more natural shells versus um, the painted shells. That's my job. Introduce your crab. Earlier I had mentioned um, a seed mat. If you are not a gardener, this is what a seed mat is. Um, it is the length of a seed starting tray. Second. So the crazy gardener and me uh, <laughs> went and got my grow lights. Um, I'll probably look into getting like specific hermit crab lights or like better lights for them. Um, but so far, um, where is he at? Orange is up top here, right there, crawling around. Um, he really seems to be liking it. Uh, this guy down here hasn't really moved much, but. I don't know, he's not as active as the other guy. Hopefully that's not a bad sign, but Ellie, what do you think? I love it. I love the pink light. I think it's perfect. <laughs> but hopefully uh, they will like this new home way better than um, the artificial one. They also one. have a little cave to walk into too. Yeah, you like that cave, don't you? <laughs> Thanks for joining us today Yay. in um, meeting our new little critters here on the homestead. And God bless. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. As always, take care. And God bless. Bye, guys.